how do we choose a member of the audit committee? How do we bring information to them? How can we get formation uh, by the company or by expert? The audit committee is at the art, at the center of uh, a network with many or several actors. The new audit rules uh, cannot work as effectively as they should uh, if audit committees don't play a full role to ensure <coughs> that uh, auditors work in a fully independent manner, that they exercise professional skepticism, and that by doing that, uh, we really drive forward audit quality. So yes, audit committees are at the heart of uh, the, 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 new, the new framework, and uh, we very much look forward on the Commission side to working with audit committee chairs and members and representatives to, to, to achieve those objectives. The production of financial statements and audit really acts like an ecosystem. So you've got the executives in a company that produce the accounts. Then, of course, you've got the audit committee that exercise governance. Um, you've got the auditors that come in and do the audit. And then ultimately, you've got the shareholders. And it's the shareholders who are the, who are the recipients of the accounts. Um, so, in order for any ecosystem to work, everybody has to play their part really well. Um, and as we know through looking at the natural world, in fact, in an ecosystem, if something gets out of balance, um, then the whole system fails. So, back to audit committees. We absolutely do need really high quality audit committees that are challenging the judgments that management make. Um, that are listening to the auditors, listening to the challenges that auditors bring um, and getting themselves really happy with the quality of the financial information that ultimately is going to shareholders. Um, it's an essential part of the system and it's really important to make sure the whole thing works. Internal auditing provides independent and objective assurance related to risk management, corporate governance and controls within the organisation and they do so on a permanent basis. Uh, the new regulations uh, refer to reporting of the external auditor to the audit committee. This is done only once a year and in a separate, very detailed report. And I think internal audit can help the audit committee with their in-depth insights of the organisation related to risk management, control and corporate governance to provide perspective to the reports of the external auditor. Um, and I think it will be a um, very good opportunity to strengthen the triangle between the audit committee, the statutory audit and the internal auditing. Uh, because after all, internal audit is part of good governance. Um, the need to consider what an objective, reasonable, informed third party would consider um, that an auditor had acted in a way that would compromise their in independence. This is an important new safeguard, um, one that auditors and companies um, should carefully consider. There are also very big questions, I think, for the longer term, which are about technological change and innovation, which could very profoundly affect the way we think about financial reporting and the way financial information is audited. That includes things like the blockchain, big data, uh, audit analytics, uh, even artificial intelligence. Uh, so these are all technological developments that we need to monitor. We need to ensure that we don't impede beneficial uh, innovation and technical change. Uh, but on the other hand, we need to make sure that uh, there is no threat that uh, changes to the way that audits are carried out, subvert the public policy objectives that we're all working to support and achieve, uh, which is to ensure that audits deliver quality audits, uh, that auditors uh, exercise uh, professional judgment and uh, professional scepticism uh, and that they really challenge management.